Isn't She Lovely as a chord melody arrangement I did for this guitar lesson. Hi fellow guitar enthusiasts around the world, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I picked up the triplet groove of the original and emphasized it in my arrangement and weave some uh, weave the melody in between. So this makes for a great groovy soul tune. I've made uh, the taps including standard music notation and the backing tracks. So there's a lot to play with and you can download all this fun down below at the uh, in the description box. Please read the download instructions right next to those links. Now let's get started. in the original key of E major and we have an A, A, B song form. The A sections are four bars long each, the B section is eight bars uh, long, so we have a total of 16 bars. Here we go! All right, here's the underlying basic groove. If you understand that it's just one bar, then you know how to fill the blanks. I'm going to show you everything note for note anyway, but it's just better if you understand the underlying basic uh, triplet groove because it's not that simple. Okay, let's check out with the first chord we all, uh, we're going to be have, having, and that's a C sharp minor 11. 9, 9, 9, 7. No A string, okay? And this is the groove. Alright, we have all the four strings, A, D, G, B, then we have the upper three strings, D, G and B only, one triplet, alright, so the second uh, of the three triplet notes is not being played, triplet, and in the second beat, and that's the, about it then, the first one is omitted, trip is a rest, a, uh, is uh, the upper three strings and let is the bass. Triple let. And then you repeat it and that makes for a whole bar. Triple let, triple let, triple let, triple let, triple let. Tri oh, sorry. Three, four. Now let's start the tune. Alright, here are the A sections and I have a melody here on a B string, 9, 10, 9, and I harmonize it with sixths. And a sixth interval is always two, fret, uh, two strings below the melody. And I use the E major scale because that's what we're in to harmonize that. So I have 9 of B and 9 of D. I go up two frets and I have 11 of D and 10 of B, that's a minor 6 now. And back to 9-9. Nine, nine. And that's the pickup bar, so not even, that's like minus one bar. And now the first beat of the first bar. And that's a C sharp minor 11, that's exactly what I, what I learned you before for the groove. Okay, nine, 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 seven, and we play that groove now, but only up till here, there's still one beat missing. So all strings, upper three, rest, upper three, bass, upper three, upper three, okay? Now go to the five chord, even before we are on beat uh, on, on the next bar. I anticipate that. It's easier to change and it sounds groovier. So I go to the F sharp 7. 
nine of eight, eight, nine, seven. These remain, and I just do a little switcheroo to F sharp seven. And I keep on grooving, and what appears next in the groove is just the upper three strings, the D, G, and B, and the bass, because this is the part where we have that rest on beat one of the triplet. All right, let me play from C sharp. Now the beat, uh, the, the next bar co uh, comes and we just continue the groove, uh, okay? Two more strums. And then I go down to this F sharp, um, seven. Second of the E string, no A is being played, but a bar over it, but I don't play it with my right hand. Second of the D and the third of the uh, G string. And actually, let's see, yeah, also the second of the of the B string. I play up until here. I hope you can see that. Up until the B string. All right. And again, I have that groove with the rest in the beginning. And now we have the melody, but let's revisit everything up until here. is on the fourth of the E string and I kind of play the I play the upper three strings and I snap with a hammer then I go to the uh, fifth and back to the fourth sometimes I slide up to the fifth it depends on how good I'm lying here okay um, B9 sus4 is next and that's just straight barred. I do not play the D string. A string, D, G, uh, G, B, and E string, upper three strings. Okay. Rest. So again. Uh, another B9 sus4 chord because I need this melody. So seven of E, seven, six, five, no A string. Uh, and we are in that rhythm again I keep on playing my um, rhythm <clears throat> no matter what even if I change have to change the voicing okay that's why it's so important to have that groove so you don't have to think damn where am I within the groove okay so you gotta hear that in your ear E6 the resolution 7 here's the E 6-6, six, six, just up until the G string. And then the ninth uh, of the D string is being played alone. That was the A1 section. It's being repeated now. go to the A2 section uh, ending, to the A2 ending, I mean the second ending, again the E6, 766, um, and the ninth, and now we have a pickup to the B section. So it, it's, it's, there, this is not included, but a different pickup that leads us to the B section. And that's a G altered chord, fourth, then the, um, Five, five of G and B, and the fourth by barring on the E. Here's the G sharp already uh, again. Fifth of E and seventh of E. Oops. Sometimes I just let go when I go to the seventh. All right. So again, here's the entire A1 section and and A2 section at slow tempo. One, two.
Welcome to the B section. Now we are, we came from this pickup. Leave that finger here and shape an A major 9 around it. Low A string, we take advantage of that. Um, open. 6, 6, 5 and the 7. Kind of strum through. Then sometimes I snap on B2, but I don't snap over all strings because that would keep them from ringing. I just snap on like the low E or A string. Then a 4, 5, 7 of the E string is the melody. That G altered we had before, G7 sharp 5 flat 9 to be exact, but with the bass, G flat. I touch the A string, either by the thumb or with the uh, index finger. Four, five, five, five. And now I keep on grooving the upper three strings, rest, upper three strings, bass, upper three strings. Okay, three, four. Again, three, four. the fourth fret twice C sharp minor 7 that's the C sharp here on the 4 6 4 by barring 5 and 4 I strum through all five strings the melody goes 7 of the B 5 of the B that's the middle finger 7 of the B again with your fingers or thumb, it doesn't matter. Now I'll leave that finger here and I add a, the a groove that still remains, but I switch it around this time, okay? So the fast thing on beat 3, and now for beat 4, this, and I leave my finger here again to get that 5. Okay, the whole C sharp minus 7. Going down to the F sharp 7. Let's revisit from the pickup, okay? That was in uh, the A1. Uh, here we go. sharp 7, we had that before, 2, 2 by barring 3 and 2. We play D, G and B plus the E string, no A string. Right. Melody again, snap to the 4th, I play the upper 3 strings and I snap my pinky to the 4th fret. We had this actually in the A section. 5, 4, B9 says 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, up of uh, 3 strings plus the bass. B9 says 4, we know this already, 2, 7, 7, 6, 5. Okay, from, from this one. Back to the B9 says 4, but this time the inner 4 strings. to go to the open string. So I just played still B flat 9 sus 4 but with the B on top. 2 2 2 and 0 in a four strings. Um and the rhythm where are we? All right. I play from that whole B9 sus 4 thing, okay? Because we actually got four different B9 sus 4 voicings now. Because we have the melody Then we go to the low E string, stop it immediately, and then I go up the E pentatonic, and I play legato. In the, the original version is not being played legato because you can't do that on uh, keyboard. We can on guitar, and I do. Uh, B to C sharp, that's the second of, to fourth on the A string. Hammer, that's the legato part. 
Same on the uh, D string, but I don't hammer here. Two, four, I slide into the six. That's the next position of the E pentatonic. Four to six on the G string, hammer. B string, fifth. And then the open E string. That's the same note as the one before because we have the E twice. You can play that note twice, but I found it's easier because it's quite fast to play it over two strings. Then going like this, you know. And in chord E uh, six. Here's the E seven six six five. All right, the last phrase, uh, last um, a line three four. And here's the entire B section at slow tempo. If you're into chord melody, I recommend you check out my basic jazz 7th chords first, then the tension chords, a lot of rhythm videos I have up here on my YouTube channel, check them all out, and my chord melody tutorials, of course. I hope you like this video, give it a fat thumbs, a thumbs up, don't forget to share the love and the knowledge, subscribe to my channel, and i see you next week. Servus, baba! Thank you.